Well, Adam Scott, your character of Ben Wyatt on Parks and Recreation had a really great year. I mean, especially for an actor, you got a lot of stuff to do. You started the season in Washington with the job. You moved back to Indiana. You've got marriage plans. You've got the uh, the bachelor party. You go back to your old city uh, where where people don't necessarily like you anymore. You've got the the wedding, and then you wind up the year working for a charity there in Indiana. What what did you feel about this past season for your character? Um, it was it was really fun. I mean, I think that one of the things that Mike and all the writers do really well is put their characters through life changes um, that are very real and uh, while at the same time making them very funny. They don't um, fall, in, fall into any sort of trap of finding what works with the character and just sticking them in that place and letting them just ride that out. They let all of the characters kind of evolve and change as people really do while retaining um, you know, some, some sort of core, uh, you know, it's not like the characters inherently change to the core. They're still the same people, but you see them sort of evolve and change with their environment and their relationships. And all the while somehow keeping it uh, hilarious, um, which I think really makes it um, really interesting for, for, the, for the audience and for the fans of the show and for us. Um, playing the characters it's it keeps it really really fresh and fun and um and uh it's 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 the writing and it's also the people around us all the other actors are are all just kind of lovely people so so it was a really fun year like you said I got, we got to start out in washington dc and, and then we traveled to indianapolis and um and then had the wedding, and it, it was just a really, really fun, um, sort of emotional roller coaster of a year, uh, but really just lovely. Just a, a, a lot of a lot of changes, and all for all for the better. What did you feel about the uh, the wedding episode? Because that wasn't your tra uh, traditional wedding, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, the wedding episode was really something else, you know. Um, we were shoot. We we shot it. It was right around the holidays, and we were shooting it. And we're all good friends, and we're shooting this wedding, and it's clearly not real because <laughs> we're. It's a. It's a. It's. We, they created this beautiful set. Retta is singing opera, and we're all together. And Amy and I's characters are getting married, and everybody was incredibly emotional as if it was we were all at a real wedding and we may as well have been because we we all are so sort of connected to these characters and the characters mean a tremendous amount to us so we were all just so happy to see it work out for these two um because they've certainly been through their ups and downs and it was also just such a beautifully written uh episode uh, and then watching it back a couple months later, I, I just couldn't have been more proud of it, more proud just to be a part of the, the show. It was just so perfectly crafted, um, edited and directed and written. It, it was just like a perfect little piece of, uh, of television, a piece of television, an episode of television. How about we just say episode? <laughs> um, but it was it was really, really fun and and uh and very moving just to be there uh because it was like a year ago that amy and i were we were working on something else and it was after we had finished season four and uh kind of said to each other like I, we really decided we really wanted these two to get married not knowing if it was ever going to happen and it kind of seemed um like a bit of a pipe dream at the time, probably um, it may have been already been in the cards. I don't know, but we were just talking about it as something that we would love to have. And there, there we were six months later actually doing it. And um, it was, it was just so, so sweet. And so, so nice. And, but they also managed to make it really funny too, which, which it, it didn't get kind of bogged down in se sentimentality. I thought they, it was kind of written perfectly, you know. 
And a few weeks earlier, uh, we met your parents, uh, played by Jonathan Banks. I hope he's not as scary uh, uh, in real life as he is on Breaking Bad. And uh, uh, Glenn Headley, uh, what was it like working with them? It was awesome. Uh, Glenn uh, Headley, I, I, I just, you know, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, is, it's just a seminal movie for me and probably everyone else in comedy. And she's just incredible i mean she's incredible and in everything but um it was it was so amazing to to work with her and and uh jonathan banks it was he came to shoot it was only like two weeks after mike or maybe one week after his character mike on breaking bad had died and so everyone was still in shock and everyone wanted to talk to him about mike and what happened and uh and he was very gracious and cool about it, but you could tell he had been talking about uh, his character's demise for, for a while. And he was getting, uh, he was very, very sweet about it, but you could tell he had, he had been a little talked out, but he gave everybody their five minutes to talk about Mike and what had gone down. And he was awesome. Uh, and he's not like Mike at all. He's a really sweet, cool, um, really funny kind of playful guy, which was really weird um, after, you know, being so emotionally connected and dependent upon M Mike's well-being for so long and then seeing him go down. Uh, but I thought, I thought he was great on parks and so scary and funny and he's a, he's a, he's a really cool guy. Well, both of them, uh, we, we saw the Emmy ballots a couple of nights ago, and both of them are on the Emmy ballots. So I, I hope voters will take them into consideration, as well as you, of course. Now, in between the wedding and the, uh, and the meeting of your parents, I think one of the most fun episodes of the year was called Two Parties, which one of those two parties was your bachelor uh, party. Uh, what? Just tell me about working on that episode, because it seemed like a lot of fun watching it from on uh, television. It was, it was so fun. Uh because it was all the guys from the show, Jim O'Hare, Nick Offerman, Chris Pratt, Aziz Ansari, um, and Rob Lowe. And we all traveled to Indianapolis together. We got to go to the, uh, the Colts arena there in Indianapolis and shoot for an entire day and just run around with uh, footballs and, um, and shoot these scenes by ourselves in this football arena, which I had never... It's just kind of awe-inspiring seeing this this place empty like that, and then go to a steakhouse and I mean, watching the episode, making it was exactly exactly how fun it was um, to shoot it. Uh, no, shooting it was exactly how fun it was. The, the characters were having in the episode. It was it, it, it was just an exact, it was almost a documentary because we were just running around having a great time and they were just shooting it. Um, they didn't pay well, you for that week, did they? Yeah, I know. They, they didn't <laughs> um, it was so, so fun. And, and it's just nice that that episode will always be there and kind of remind me of the friendships that we all kind of share on this show. And, uh, it, it was a blast. It, it really was getting to go to each character's sort of fantasy bachelor party through the night. I thought was a great idea for the show, and and it was just a blast to do. I can't imagine what kind of reception Nick Offerman gets walking into a steakhouse. Yeah, you know, it was it was great because usually we shoot in Los Angeles, where you know people are pretty used to TV shows being shot, and it's more a nuisance than anything. But going to Indianapolis, we all got this amazing reception that we are not used to because um, in Los Angeles, it's just shoot, someone shooting a TV show is simply a traffic problem, and you just want to want to get away from it. Whereas in Indianapolis, when we were shooting in the steakhouse, there was this big crowd outside. Um, we're like the, we were like the nerd Beatles. In, uh, <laughs> in Indianapolis. It was really, really fun. Now, we've talked about some great episodes from this year, and I know, you know if you get nominated for an Emmy over in the, in the summer, 
the late part of the summer, you're going to have to choose an episode. And I wonder about some of those. I think you've got a tough, tough task ahead of you if you, if you do need to choose one. But the other one from this season that really stood out to me, because a lot of it was focused on you, was Partridge, where you, your character, we, we knew that you had a past where you were a very young mayor and, and, and things went wrong. But we didn't know how much those people hated you until you went back home. What, tell me about that, that particular episode. That was a that was a really fun one because um, I was kind of stuck in bed on morphine the whole time, uh, and the great J.K. Simmons came in and played the the current mayor of Partridge, who absolutely hates my guts. And um, J.K. and I are friends, and we've worked together a bunch, and so it was really really cool of him to come do an episode and he was just hit it out of the park. I thought it was so great. Uh, yeah, that was, that was really fun. Um, it was fun to, <laughs> what I did find during making that episode is I was, my character was high on morphine and, and, and Amy, uh, Leslie kind of helps Ben talk him through being so, so high. And what I found was that, um, I feel like Amy Poehler would be a great guide for someone who is kind of super high on drugs. That's what I found. <laughs> she was very comforting and uh, and uh, nurturing in, in, in that circumstance. Uh, it, it, yeah, that, that was a really fun episode. Um, and it's it's always fun to kind of get a another peek into Ben's past, his disastrous political career, I think is always uh, fertile ground. It's 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 pretty funny stuff. Would it, if you are nominated, would it be that one or, or one of the other ones we discussed or maybe even even yet another one from this past season? What do you think was the best showcase for you? Um, yeah, I thought Partridge was, was a lot of fun. I think that's a, that's a good one. I think the wedding is, is always good. I think that's a, that's a great example of um, the show. Uh, really, really kind of yeah, I think it's great for every, the, the wedding is a perfect episode for everybody. Everybody gets a really great bit in there. Um, there was, oh, Soda Tax from early in the season was a fun one as well. Um, that was really fun. It's where I try and get the whole office in Washington to, um, to, uh, to, to, uh, to play the Frisbee, um, get, get on my Frisbee team to start a, fr a Frisbee, uh, I guess it's extreme Frisbee. Is that what it is? Frisbee golf or some, I, I forget what the name of it. Frisbee enthusiasts are going to hate me. Not, um, hmm. do you have a large Frisbee enthusiast audience that watch gold derby? Because if you do I don't know that our audience matches up with uh, any kind of sports world other than me, I, I watch a lot of sports, but I may be the only one. <laughs> okay, I think I, I, I think you're probably right. Um, so the soda tax from early in the season is a lot of fun as well. But um, the yeah. first day on the job at the charity uh, was really good too. Oh yeah, that's right. That was a that was a that was a fun one as well. Uh, Nick Offerman directed that one. Right. It is. You and Chris uh, Pratt together is al is always fun. Yeah, I think um, uh, Chris and my characters together is always fun because. They they have absolutely not one thing in common, and yet they they've kind of formed this sort of brother relationship. And I love working with Chris, of course, and and it's always just so fun because those two characters could not be more different. And uh, it's always it's always a blast to do scenes with the, just the two of us. Well, it was great to see him finally nominated for something earlier this week at the Critics' Choice Awards, but you were too. You're no, you were nominated in the lead acting category. What did that mean to you to have, to have the critics single you out like that? It meant a tremendous amount. I was thrilled. I I uh, I was very surprised and just really excited. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I was just flattered to to be on the list with those other guys. It was it was amazing. Now, later this year, on uh, Christmas Day, you've got The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, uh, Ben Stiller uh, uh, starring and directing, uh, directing for the first time in a while. Uh, what, tell us about working on that and what, what your expectations are for that. It was an incredible experience. We shot it last summer in New York, and uh, it was just uh, Ben Stiller's always been such a kind of comedy hero of mine, and and so getting to get work with him and you know sort of get to know him was 
amazing. Uh, it's him, it's Kristen Wiig, uh, Patton Oswald, uh, uh, Catherine Hahn is in it, Shirley MacLaine, Sean Penn. It's and it's this, they couldn't find any talented people, so they went with those. Yeah, it's kind of an unbelievable, unbelievable cast, and it's just this big epic um, comedy slash drama. Uh, I think it's a really, really special movie, and I think um, Ben, as a filmmaker, is just gonna blow everybody away. It's really, really something else. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we, uh, just You had a great season on Parts. We'd love to Thanks, see you up for an Emmy nomination later this summer. Thanks, and man. the show as well. We've got to get the show back in that comedy series race. But uh, I know you've got a lot going on this summer. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Chris.